This week we saw torrential downpours and in some areas flooding. And this was only a storm, not even a hurricane. So why do we see roads and neighborhoods underwater? Some of our natural systems and our built systems uh, are stressed when they're trying to accommodate a really extreme event. Like That's FGCU's water school days. chair, Don Duke. He says in many areas, there's nowhere for the water to go because of so many homes and businesses. When we design residential and commercial areas, we aren't usually ready to sacrifice that much area to keep it in open space. Open space, as in a place for the water to go. If we had that, Duke says it could hold the water, absorb the runoff, and keep it from ponding up in areas. If we were particularly thoughtful and willing to spend a little bit of money or sacrifice a little bit of growth, uh, we could identify ways that would better absorb or detain those waters. There are ways to help, but Christopher Conrad, a research hydrologist for the U.S. Geological Survey, says it's expensive. So they typically would involve, uh, you know, uh, tunnels and all sorts of drainage systems to collect the water. Often you need to have pumps. Conrad says drains aren't the one size fix all solution, especially because Florida is so flat. It would be really challenging for any municipality to deal with. At this point, it's not so much as preventing flooding, but they say rather managing the water and development. But as we continue to build, it'll continue to be exacerbated and continue to uh, stress our systems even more.